Hello everyone, this is the first episode of the Interactive Slime Fun Guide. I uh, hope you're all having a great day, and in this episode I'm going to be showing you guys the entire setup for all of the basic machines in Slime Fun 4. So, uh, in here I have basically every single machine in the uh, Slime Fun Basic Machine category if we open up the guide right here. Uh, it is all of these things here. Uh, I'll be going over them each individually in just a moment. Uh, just for reference though, I'm not going to be going over any of the enhanced furnaces or the block placer. So, first things first, how do you make all of these? As you can see in these chests, I have it laid out basically how you're going to build each and every one of these. So, the enhanced crafting table, armor forge, grindstone, ore crusher, compressor, smeltery, pressure chamber, the magical workbench, the ore washer, the table saw, uh, and these, uh, these two recipes are for the crucible and composter respectively, the automatic panning machine, and the juicer. So you are going to need exactly all of these ingredients, with the exception of course of flint and steel, you're just going to need something that can produce fire, and you're going to need exactly what is shown here to make everything within this building. So. The first thing that you're going to probably want to make is the smeltery. So the smeltery is made with the nether bricks, nether brick fence, fire, and your dispenser. However, there is one ingredient that is not listed in the uh, outdoor chest right there, which is this little handy dispenser back here, the automatic ignition chamber. If you are to fill this entire automatic ignition chamber with flint and steel, so let me just show that to you really quick. then this machine will automatically ignite everything that you need. So let's say I cheat in a little bit of uh, iron dust, for example, and I want to turn these all into ingots. So if I keep using the smeltery here, you'll see that it's using durability from the flint and steel from within the automatic ignition chamber, and I don't have to keep replacing this manually. It's very helpful. And because I have the output chest here, I'm getting all of the iron ingots into this chest. So that's another ingredient here, the output chest. You're just gonna make it very simple, really. You need five lead ingots, hopper, and a chest. And it's really useful, especially for smelteries, where you can just keep right-clicking and you keep getting the ingots in here. Next is the composter. I'm gonna put this also with the crucible. And these two, basically, just allow you to create uh, different materials with some uh, other materials. So with the composter, you can use different kinds of natural materials like plants and leaves and things like that, and you can get other materials. So let me just show you all the recipes with that really quickly. So you can use leaves, saplings, and certain things like stone, sand, and wheat, and you can get all of these respective outcomes. So most of them just result in getting dirt, but you can also get nether axle sand and nether warp. It's very useful if you are not ready to go to the nether, but you'd like to start perhaps a potion farm. And for the crucible, if we go to that recipe really quick, you'll see that you can turn different kinds of stone into lava, you can turn leaves into water, and then all this terracotta you can turn into lava. So it's very good if you can't find a lava pool anywhere, but you are in desperate need of either lava or obsidian. The ore crusher serves a couple of purposes, but mainly it's for crushing ores. If I open the recipe book right here, you'll see that you can turn all of the main vanilla ores into uh, some sort of double variant of themselves. You can turn a coal ore into two, you can turn a diamond ore into two. It's very useful if you have a silk touch pickaxe so you can automatically double all of the materials that you mine for. You can also turn a nether rack into sulfate and it can turn other things into sand and gold dust respectively. It's very useful for those purposes, and I recommend building this uh, for your second machine. And also connecting an output chest can be very useful. Next on the list is the compressor. The compressor allows you to, well, compress things. And the list of things is pretty short, but it is useful. So you can combine stone chunks and flint if you need to make more cobblestone, which is useful in this plugin. It's incredibly useful, really. And you can also combine coal, steel, carbon, and reinforced alloy ingots into carbon, steel plates, compressed carbon, and reinforced plates, respectively. 
Now on this wall, I have some of the most uh, essential machines that you're going to want to make, and arguably you might want to make some of these before you even bother making a smeltery or ore crusher, and that is the enhanced crafting table. This is what you're going to be using for about 90% of all crafting recipes in Slimethon. It's quite simple to make, you only need a dispenser and a crafting table on top. And, you know, you just slap your materials in here, right click, obviously that's not a real recipe, but that's how you're going to make your different things. And to have an output chest right next to it is incredibly useful. Right next to the enhanced crafting table is the armor forge. This machine is what you're going to use if you ever want to make any kind of sun fun armor. So if we open up the menu really quick and go to armor, there are some really useful things here. For example, you can make the Damascus steel and or reinforced helmets. It has unbreaking 10 protection, or sorry, unbreaking 9, protection 9. Uh, very good enchantments, it's incredibly useful. It is very expensive, but it can be used in other ways as well. But you're going to want to use this machine for all of your armor making purposes. Next is the grindstone. Now the grindstone has a few purposes, let me show you those really quick. So there's a lot of different things that this can do, but the most notable ones in my opinion is the ones on this first page here. This page is iffy, but as you can see, if you turn blaze rods and bones and you can get just a significantly higher amount of blaze powder and bone meal respectively, which is better than just slapping it into your crafting table. Next, you can also turn gravel into flint and you can turn cobblestone and all its variants into gravel. This is incredibly useful and I'm gonna show you why in just a moment. Uh, you can also use this machine for turning Eyes of Ender and Nether Wart into Ender Lumps and Magical Lumps, respectively. The next machine here, the Pressure Chamber, is a unique one. It's, it's very strange in the sense that it's only used for two different recipes, and they're both used in the same way. You can turn a Carbon Chunk into a Synthetic Diamond, and you can turn a Raw Carbonado into Carbonado. And both of these kind of play hand in hand because you're going to be using both of these recipes for essentially the same kinds of things. But it is essential if you want to make some more advanced kinds of machines that require carbonata. So it is a good machine to have. Maybe more of a late game one though. The juicer is the next one up here, and the juicer is basically just for food purposes. If you want to turn apples into apple juice or turn melons into melon juice or anything of the sort, then this is your best friend here. Uh, I can turn practically anything into a very useful kind of food source. For example, you can turn sweet berries, which is a bit of a lackluster food source, into something that's even better than, you know, most food sources in the entire game. Furthermore, you can also turn golden apples into golden apple juice, so you can drink that in the heat of a battle and get some extra health. Next on our list is the magical workbench, created with bookshelf, crafting table, and a dispenser facing towards you. And this is going to be your best friend when creating any sort of magical items within Slime Fun. Now, there's kind of two different subsections to Slime Fun if you weren't aware of this. There is the machinery side, which is, you know, using smelteries, ore crushers, and grindstones, compressors, pressure chambers, all of that, to make different kinds of machines and electricity. And then there is the magical side you're going to use the magical workbench to create some of the more basic magical materials. Now, what you'll see in a future episode is that there are some other machines that are needed in order to create more advanced magical items, but that's not gonna be covered in this video. It's a bit too advanced for right now. The next machine here is the automatic panning machine, which is possibly the easiest one to make. You just need a cauldron and a trapdoor on top. And what this machine does, it serves one singular purpose, essentially. I'll show it to you right now. Well, maybe more than one. It serves two different purposes. You can turn gravel and soul sand into all of these different materials. Now, some of these may seem really useful or useless. So you can turn soul sand into a gas tier or blaze powder, which is very useful. But you also see things like gravel into clay and gravel into flint. And that just seems like a bit of a letdown. And in all honesty, it is. But there is one item here that if you don't know its true purpose, seems very out of place. And that is the sifted ore. The sifted ore can be put into our next machine, the ore washer, right here, and it can be transformed into random ingots. So you can get things like iron dust, copper dust, aluminum dust, things like that. And you can put those into the smeltery to turn them into their ingot counterpart. 
This machine is incredibly useful for different kinds of machinery making, since copper, aluminum, things like that is essential in almost every single machine that you're going to be making. The last machine here that we skipped over for a bit is the table saw. And the table saw is probably the most basic out of all of these. It doesn't serve a huge purpose, but it is just a little quality of life kind of thing. Uh, if you noticed in the chest outside here, you'll see that the table saw actually has a block of iron below the stone cutter itself. Now if we pick this up, you'll see that I do actually have this block of iron here. It is completely essential. If it's not there, then the machine will not work. And if we take some logs, for example, and put these on the table saw, you'll see that we get eight planks per log. This is not a glitch. This is the intended function of it. So instead of getting the usual four logs per, you can double the amount of wood that you get using this machine, which if you live in an area that isn't full of forests, this can be incredibly useful. And thus sums up the basic machine category of Slime Pun 4. Uh, I hope this video helped you out uh, in understanding some of the more basic functions of Slime Fun, uh, in case you were wondering how to make these machines or what purpose they served. But in the next episode, we'll be going over some of the more basic items that you can make using these machines, uh, namely weapons. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.